Hello, Matt Diggity here. I'm going to be going over my website management template, which I use to keep track of my website's overall offsite SEO campaign. Now, this includes backlinking, anchor text management, and social linking. So, let's go ahead and get started. This template is laid out in sections which help to organize your data. At the top here, we see that this is basically an offsite SEO history for an example website that I'm calling www.website.com. Now this first section is probably the most important section. These is, this is where I keep track of the backlinks that are pointing directly to my money site. And what I keep track of is for each link, I give the source of the backlink. So this is coming from a domain called pvna.com. It's linking to this URL. So this would be the destination URL, and it's going to the home page, so www.website.com. And then for the anchor text, I used website, which in this case it would be considered a brand anchor. In this field here, I just basically note whether this link has been indexed and crawled, so it's counted by Google or not. And then I'll put here what is the type of link going to this destination URL. I'll keep track of the date posted. And then in this section here for ranking, I will basically note down for the main keyword that page is trying to rank for what is the rank on the day that I sent that link? This is very useful in case, say down the road, you end up noticing that your rankings tanked for a certain keyword. Then you'll be able to backtrace and see, okay, on this day I sent this anchor and this seems to coincide with the, the point in time where I had my ranking de decrease. And then you can take action based on what you think went wrong. Maybe you were too aggressive with the anchor text. Maybe the PBN you sent it from is is bad, is, it has a spam penalty. So this will allow you to go back in and make changes based on that. In this next section, I link to my social profile. So this is something I do. Uh, it's called trust pulling. Basically what's done is I'll take my social profiles like my Facebook and my Twitter and I'll link to them from various sources, maybe from a Tumblr or maybe from a PBN. And this section is pretty much laid out exactly like the section above where we, we discuss the source, the source domain that's linking to the target URL, what the anchor text was used, whether it was indexed, what the type was, and when the date was posted. Uh, I don't keep track of the ranking because normally I'm not really trying to rank stuff like the Facebook and the Twitter, but it, it might be a good idea for you guys to keep track of it because every once in a while they do rank. This third section here, this is the logbook and this is a very, very important section. It's very simple in, in the fact that all you need to do is for each date, every time you make an action, so like if you're doing actions weekly, weekly you'll, you'll, you'll jot down what is the action you took. So as we can see here on January 1st, 2016, I created this link. And so I'll note down in my action section, I sent one PBN link to my money site and one PBN link to the Facebook which happened here. Very important, I also recommend to myself what I should do next week. And this kind of helps you keep a continuity of thought. So next week when it's time to do more linking to your site, you don't have to relearn what the whole game plan was. You kind of have a continuity because you, you informed yourself from the week before. So in the next week, I'll be sending a trust tier link to my Twitter. And that's exactly what I did on the 12th. I took a Tumblr profile, sent it to the Twitter page with this anchor text. Great. Another very, very important aspect of the logbook is if you're doing something like dominating the niche, meaning that let's say you found a profitable niche and that niche is making you $10,000 a month, it's very, very smart and it's very much so in your interest to go ahead and create more sites in that same exact niche and just start to blanket page one. Take up slots one through five on page one. Now if you keep a good logbook and if you keep track of all your links and when you sent them and what kind of sources they were coming from, then once you've ranked one site to page one, you now have a recipe for sites two, three, four, five and above. Now instead of doing the ranking yourself and going out and 
and performing all these actions again, you can hand this off to an apprentice or a virtual assistant who doesn't need much training in SEO. They just need to know the basics. As long as they can follow the instructions, okay, on the 1st of January or the first week, we use the PBN to link to the home page and we use it a branded anchor. As long as they can do that, they can rank more sites in the niche. And this is where the power of scaling comes into play. Okay, now scrolling down a little bit further, this is the reference section. And this is basically just to help me keep track of various data that I, I like to keep track of. So in this section here, I keep track of the different pages on my site. So this is a very simple site. We have a home page and one inner page. What the keywords are that these pages target. So the home page targets keywords ABC, DEF, and GHI. And these are the search volumes associated with these keywords. Now this final column over here is where I basically mark down if I've ever used this anchor text to to link to this page. And in this case, that was the first thing I did on January 1st. I, or actually, this happened on January 15th. I used PBNB to link to the home page using the anchor text keyword ABC. So I put down a one here. I've used it one time. And then finally, here's another reference section where I have my social fortress profiles, what their URLs are, and their status, whether they're indexed or not. Great. So the very the power of this template really comes into play in these tabs down here. Now, if you've read my article about finding the niche-specific target anchor text distribution, this will make a lot of sense to you. But basically, when I'm choosing the anchor text that I want to rank my site with, I'm taking the average of the top five rankers in the niche and finding out how they got to numbers one through five. What kind of anchor text do they have? And I'll come up with an average distribution of target, miscellaneous, URL, brand, and topic anchors that they needed to get to the number one through five spots. Now, if we go back to the original sheet, I can see that I've basically sent two links to the Money Sites homepage. One is a branded anchor and one's a target anchor. So I've filled out in my table one target and one brand. Now the great thing about this template is this pie graph is, is what we're trying to mimic, what we're trying to get to eventually. This one on the bottom is what our current state is. So if I want to get to this kind of state above, I basically just need to make the colors start to match up. And we can see here we're definitely missing topic anchors. We're missing this light blue color. So it would be a good idea for me the next week to send a topic anchor. I put in a one here in the pie graph updates. Maybe the week after that, we're going to send a miscellaneous anchor, and the pie graph changes. Then we continue over time, adding more and more links, more and more anchors, until we start to get our pie graph to match the one above. And that's when we start to get closer to the optimization that the niche is asking for. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope this is useful for you. If you want to download this temple, just template, just check out the blog post listed in the description below.